All right, folks. Today we're working on like a 2006 Buick Lucerne. Um, Buick Lucerne. Anyways, um, I already did it, but I'm gonna explain the whole process because my phone died. So this is the 3800 Series 3, but the other engines are pretty much similar. There's just a couple different parts, and what we ended up having to do was that elbow down there. You see that little silver elbow? There's one right there, and then there's one underneath in this area that you can't see. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. There it is right there. You see that orange stuff? Well, that's um, liquid gasket. Anyways, so I'm going to give you the whole spill down on how to do this. This is already the third day um, that this car comes back to me, and it's not leaking. I checked it. Everything's good on it. So what you're going to start off by doing is taking off your engine cover. You're going to take off that. Some of these you just take off the oil cap or whatever and the neck. And then it, the plastic just comes off. And then now to do this job right here, you're going to need a 10 millimeter. You're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, wrench and socket. You're going to need a 15 millimeter. Um... You're going to need a 15 millimeter wrench and socket, a small socket if you got it. And then what else are you going to need? Some pliers. You're going to need some gasket maker, some RTV gasket maker. And if you can, get the red kind, the high temp. And anyways, so after you got your engine cover off on uh, some cars, on the Pontiacs and those other cars are a little bit different. Like there isn't this coolant reservoir. There's another coolant reservoir, skinny one right here. For that other model with the coolant reservoir right here, you take off like the bolts. There's like a bolt that connects to this thing and another bolt somewhere over here. And, and then it just pulls out the bottom. This one right here, I had to take off like this clip, this bolt right here on the Lucerne. And then there's another bolt in there. They're all, those are 10 millimeters. I took this out just to get some elbow room. You probably don't have to take that out. And the next thing I did was, um, so we're going to be messing with our alternator, right? This is a 10 millimeter back here. So what you have to do is, and the Lucerne, you know, the, the battery's back here and, uh, in the back. And so anyways, so we had to unplug that. It's, it's a little bit tough to get off the seat guys. So good luck. Anyway, so we took off the battery terminal. That way, when we're messing with the alternator, everything's going to be safe. So after we did that, yeah, like I said, we took out our coolant reservoir. The other models, I already explained how they are. And your model of engine needs to have these hoses in the back right here and the alternator in this position. Or else it's not the same model. It's slightly different. It's like a Series 2 or something else, Series 1. Anyways, so after you take out the coolant reservoir, the next job is to take off the belt. And you're going to go to this um, bolt right here. This is your tensioner pulley, this whole thing right here. And this goes this direction, left, towards the alternator. So you're going to put your wrench on there, your 15 millimeter on here. And then you're going to push like this. And then with your right hand, you're going to just take off the belt like that. And that's how you take off the belt. Then we're ready to work on the alternator and then oh yeah before you take off the belt if you don't got like some kind of diagram telling you how the belt goes back on you're gonna need to draw a little diagram of how the belt goes of course so you're not there finagling all day and after you take off the belt then the next thing is the alternator the alternator has this bolt right here that's a 15 millimeter you take off this one and then you take off this harness right here then you're going to take off this 10 millimeter right here. And remember, you disconnected the battery or else you're going to shock yourself in your tool. And then you took off. You're going to go ahead and take off this bolt right here. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. There's a 10 millimeter bolt back here that's going to take off this bar. Keep everything organized. And um, after you take off this bolt, 15 millimeter bolt, there's another one right under there that you take off. And then there's another 15 millimeter bolt right there. That's gonna take off your whole alternator here. Belt's already off. You're gonna take off your whole alternator. You don't even really have to take off this one right here, this 10 millimeter. You just have to unplug the harness and move it over here into this area. And then so your whole alternator is gonna be off. And then you're gonna see the whole tensioner assembly that comes all together. Anyways, you're gonna take off these hoses back here and you're going to take those off of pliers and then later on you're going to put RTV in here too so remember that and what you're going to do is the bolts for this one there's one right here 
and then there's one underneath this pulley and then there's another one back here like where the where the power steering pump is and that's going to bring that whole assembly off and these elbows you're going to grab them where the elbows are and you're going to pull that whole assembly off and then you're going to clean it real nice and good with the soap pad okay you're going to clean it and make it look brand new like mine's and then um you're going to clean inside the holes where you're going to put those tubes and those those um those are called the heater heater elbows and you can buy those at o'reilly's they're like 18 dollars get the metal ones just do it just listen to what i say because you're watching this video follow instructions and anyways and what we're going to do is we're going to clean inside where it goes inside the block clean inside there that little hole you'll know what i'm talking about once you take out this whole assembly and basically the parts where they mate um the parts like inside where this elbow is right here that little connecting part like the little hole in there we're going to clean that up we're going to put rtv in there we're going to put rtv around the gasket of the elbow and anyways so we got it all off right pictures having it all off and basically we got it all cleaned up we got it dried up nice and neat we're gonna um put our elbows on we get silicone and put it on the inside of the hole and put it on the elbow and then we push it inside there and then the bigger elbow the one that's like the same length 90 degree angle goes on this part right here and then the smaller one goes down there there's only one way to put them so you can't really get mixed up anyways and uh so that one too down there um i don't know if you could see it or not this one right here you're gonna put rtv on all the places that have gaskets basically and then all you do is just push this puppy back on line up these these uh what do you call it? it's the same orientation they're in the elbows that's the way you put them on and in and then that thing just pushes in there once you get those elbows the other corners into the well this side goes into the block this side goes into the um, water pump so once you get those in there and pop them in there you're going to put in this first bolt right here that's going to hold everything in place and that's going to pull everything more to where it needs to be and then uh, you're going to put in the rest of the bolts this one there's one right here and there's one under there and that's going to put it all back in place and then you're going to put your alternator back on and then you put this bolt right here and you put this bolt in here and then you put the other bolt right there and leave them all loose that way they all go in the holes once they're all in the holes you tighten it all up you tighten up this bar you put this bar back on put the nut back on put this 10 mil back on make sure that you didn't touch this if you did tighten it back up put your harness on and then that's pretty much it with this puppy you fill it up with with um how's i gonna say water engine coolant after you're done filling it up with engine coolant you come over here this little uh bolt right here you're gonna get that and the top one you're gonna twist it and then be careful that bolt doesn't fall in there because believe me it's gonna suck anyways though uh, take this off very gently make sure it's not all hot burning your fingers if not use gloves um take it off gently and then um well before you take it off gently fill your car up with uh engine coolant right you're gonna fill your car up with the engine coolant and then once you fill it up with the engine coolant then that's when you're gonna start your car you're gonna take this off water needs to be coming out of here the air needs to drain out and that's pretty much it after once just water comes out of there that means the air is all drained out um you got the air out your system the heater should be working if the heater is not working and it's leaking from here that means you need a thermostat and you just take off those bolts clean the surfaces and um get your thermostat with the gasket already on it put gasket maker all on this mating surface underneath there in between smash that back on there tighten it up you're good to go on that one but anyways after you get the air out the system you're pretty much done and that's all she wrote for these kind of engines and that's how to take care of those you know those elbows down there those heater elbows listen exactly what i say write it down go step by step that's how to do it all right guys if you guys got anything to say let me know in the comments and anyways yeah so let me show you a little bit of my work real quick i don't know how to turn the flash on on this thing
think I think Flash is oh no, here it is right here. Yep, flash don't work. Anyways, that's the elbow right there. There's that one bolt I was talking about right here. That's how that one looks in there. See, wherever you see the RTV, that's where you want to put the RTV. I put some RTV on these bad boys too. I didn't get the new gasket. I just put the RTV in there. Sealed up pretty good. Everything's working fine. Like I said, this is three days later. There you guys go. And this is for the 3800 Series 3, 3.8 liter.